our sample project to uh, you know project to sample D the last sample project process order data so after we after the user submits the order data we need to use a we need to use a order server to process the data okay so in this sample project we will do that part okay all right uh, requirement number five the user's input page will display both the city options and the product options in two drop down lists so that a user can select a suitable city and a product yeah so we need to modify the interface part yeah so we have the city option drop down list in sample b right and a product option part drop down list in sample c yeah so now we put them together so that's a simple task yeah. all right but also uh, we will add a quantity field yeah in my requirement description i didn't mention the quantity field yeah but when i work on it so i feel it is better to add that part because it is just a, a little more extra work so i just put there all right requirement number six purchase processing the purchase information is submitted to a processing servlet so we call the order servlet yeah so we will develop a new servlet called order servlet okay yeah where we calculate the purchase result write it into the database store it in the java bean so we need to create a new java bean to store the purchase result or order information yeah and place it in a request scope then forward the request to the result jsp yeah in the request jsp we display purchase result using that java bean we store in the request scope through e L. Yeah. So this part we can practice EL a little bit. So that's it. Yeah. Number seven, display result. Yeah. So here we talk about display. Yeah. So use EL. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's simple. Yeah. That's simple. Yeah. Yeah. So you will see it. Yeah. All right. Next. Yeah. All right. First, look at the interface part. Yeah, I mentioned the interface part. We want to put the two drop-down lists together. Yeah, so let me describe that part a little bit. Yeah, so for that part, I just create a simple table. Okay, so this is my table. Okay, yeah. So then top part, top part. Yeah, two columns. The left one, I use the you know city 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 drop down yeah yeah right inside the product drop down copy paste okay after that then i insert you know a blank row you know to leave some space all right so then after that this part i add a input field yeah quantity yeah so the user can enter a number three you know some number quantity okay so then the order button yeah although i can put in the middle yeah but you know that's not that important yeah order button click then we submit the data to 
the order servlet. Yeah. When we submit the data, so look at what kind of data we submit. Three, three pieces of data. Yeah. The first one, city, city, actually it's a city index. Remember, for the city, we use array, city array. Yeah. So array, if we have the index, we can retrieve that city, corresponding city. Yeah. And through the index, our text rates, also we use a string array. So the index, we can get to the corresponding text rate. Yeah. So that's very convenient. Yeah. The product dropdown, we use the product ID. The values to be submitted, product ID. It's also an integer. Uh, with this integer, we can do the database query. So we can, you know, get the price of the product. And then we can calculate, you know, a, amount, amount of money for the product you know, order the products, okay? Then we calculate the text, you know, total text, yeah. Yeah, quantity also used for the calculation. Yeah. So that's the plan, okay? All right, so after that, then to, to display the result, we need a Java bean. So here we call the order bean. The result only contains two parts. Yeah. Total amount paid before tax. Then the tax part. Yeah. Two parts. Yeah. So very simple. Yeah. All right. So after that, then database query part. Yeah. How do we get the product, the price of the product, the price of the selected product? So we create a prepared statement called a get price. Retrieve the price information from our product table. Yeah. All right, so the query statement, this string, select price from product where product underscore ID equals the question mark. Yeah. The question mark, the parameter value comes from the user's input. Yeah. All right. So here you can see we retrieve three user input numbers. When we retrieve, they are originally they are string format. All the parameter values originally in string format, but we need to convert them to numbers in order to do any calculation. So the Next step, we do conversion. Yeah. So we use a try block. Here, I didn't include the try block. I just include the main conversion lines. Yeah. So in my code, sample Java code, you can see the complete uh, structure easily. Yeah. After that, we do the query. Okay. Yeah. So we set the parameter number, the question mark, the first question mark, we set parameter value, then we do the query, then we, after we retrieve the return data, call next. We put the read cursor to the first line. Yeah, price, yeah. get uh, price RS dot, price OS, yeah, dot next. Yeah, so we read the first line. We only need to read one line. Okay. Yeah. Then get float number. The price is a float number. So we call this get float method. One, the first returned field. Only one field returned. Field value returned. So we get the current price. Yeah. Then we just do the calculation after that. Okay. Double amount, yeah. So we do the calculation, yeah. All right, and also, yeah, because this calculation, after we do it, we need to format it, yeah. Because when we display the total amount, 
we only keep the two digits after the decimal point. Yeah. Here, I didn't include that, but in my real code, you can see I put a format there. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, you see many digits after the decimal point. So that's not very user friendly. Okay. Then our text part, we also need to do the two digit format. Yeah. So we did it in the animal survey. Also, we did it in project one. So it's not new. Yeah. Very easy. Yeah. After that, we put it in the order bin, Java bin prepare order bin yeah, to be sent to the result.jsp. Yeah. All right, so the, you know, pretty standard. Yeah. All right, so the last step, last step, display in the result.jsp display, main part like this, amount colon, right? The first EL expression. Okay, order bin, remember, yeah, so the key, order bin, yeah, dollar curly braces, the amount property, okay, amount property. Second, tax property, yeah, but it is a, you know, money amount, so we need to display the dollar sign, right, yeah, because for the dollar sign, we don't like it confused with the EL expression. So here I use the HTML tended entity symbol. So this is HTML entity symbol. Yeah. This entity, uh, the code number 36 corresponds to the dollar sign. Dollar sign. Yeah. Yeah. Here I use that. Yeah. So you will see the dollar sign displayed, but inside your code, you see this HTML entity expression. Yeah. So that, that's very simple. Yeah. You, you just search the online document. You find HTML entity list. Yeah. You look at the table, so you, you can find the one you want to use. Yeah. All right. With that, now we have everything for our project to sample D. Yeah. Next, we just run it. Okay. Yeah. And this project to SAMP D, this is very close to our final project too. Very close with only two features missing. Yeah. In my next video, I will show you how to go from this project to sample D to the final project too, fixing the gap, okay, yeah, all right, so let me show you the demo, uh, then we complete this video. All right, I need to start my eclipse, yeah, get to sample D, yeah, before I run it, I want to show you one thing very special, uh, prepare servlet. Actually, we use that in both servlets. But first, let me show you the prepare servlet. All right. In prepare servlet, remember, we need to read initial parameters from the web.xml, right? But when we read, we need to get a context object, servlet context object. How do we get it, right? Yeah. So for that question, in our project two sample B, we did it in do get method. Yeah. In project sample B, we did it in do get method. But here we cannot do it in do get method. Okay. The reason is here we use this init method. In our sample B, we didn't use init method. So we are okay. We can get a server context object from the do get method. But here we use the init method. We use this servlet config object because this one related to the servlet context object. Yeah. 
So, if we use the server config here, then in do get method, we are not allowed to access the server context object. <laughs> you know, that's the you know internal rule. Yeah. At the beginning, I didn't know that. So when I test my project, I couldn't get that object. Always no pointer exception. I couldn't get that. Yeah. So after many times trying, later I figure out, oh, probably I should do it in the init method. Yeah, my guess was correct. After I put here, then the problem solved. So now we can run it smoothly. Yeah. So you get my this code, then you won't have any problem. Yeah. So let me run this example. Yeah. All right. So right click. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's the only one. So we just run it. Oh, I missed something. Uh, sorry, I missed something very big. Because after I start Eclipse, I didn't start my server. I I didn't start my my MySQL server. Yeah. So yeah. so that's why, you know. Yeah, remember, because the MySQL is not started by default yeah because i reset you can see apache mysql not running so i need to start it first yeah you may have the similar problem yeah, if you forget this step yeah all right good okay yeah now it's ready yeah so let yeah i need to start it another time yeah yeah yeah, this happens frequently. I hope this time everything is all right. Good. You see, we get what we like to have. So I select one city from the first drop down list. Uh, one product from second drop down list then i need to enter a quantity number and click the order button now you see you know some information calculation displayed and result page java b that dollar sign from the html entity symbol yeah i mean symbol display and star new order so we can do another one all right so that's all we need for this sample project d and it is our starting point toward the final project 2 version yeah. so i will complete that part in our last video in the sequence all right, so let me stop here. Yeah.